In today's web, performance impacts everything. Usability, conversion rates, and just overall user experience starts with how your site performs. One of the main things that impacts loading speed is how much data needs to be sent to the user. And this is the reason why reducing your JavaScript bundle size is talked about so much in the web dev world. But another and often simpler way to send less data is through image optimization. For example, a lot of the times we're storing super high quality image, but we don't necessarily need to render that full quality. If we take a look at sites like Twitter, Twitter has access to the high quality profile pictures, but on each individual tweet, it actually renders a smaller version of the image. There's no point sending a high res image if it's only going to be shown in this small size. So in this video, we're going to take a look at Nux's official image optimization, Nux image, and combine it with Storyblock's image service to create a nice developer experience that ultimately ends up with a great user experience on your site. So first, why Nux image? Nux image provides a way to optimize images from dozens of different providers. And one of the main features across providers is that we can specify what image we're using. This means that depending on the context of our image, we can request an optimal size. So for a profile picture, for example, we can fetch a smaller image. And my favorite part is how many image providers that we can link to. In this video, we're going to integrate with Storyblock, which I obviously think is a great option. But if you're using other image providers or even want to serve local images, it's all possible with a similar syntax. And if you want to see the full list of different providers and the unique features specific to each provider, I'll leave a link to the full docs down below. But to continue with this video, let's talk about why I use Storyblock. If you've watched some of my videos before, you'll know that Storyblock has been a supporter of the channel for a while and I genuinely really love the tool. In addition to being a great CMS with a visual editor, they also offer a great image service that also comes with their CDN, a bunch of really cool image features that we'll cover in this video. And I think the biggest reason I like it is it makes it a lot simpler when you can manage your assets in the same place as your content. For example, when you use images with Storyblock, it's all nicely organized in an asset library that you can easily embed in your content. And it also comes in with a built-in image editor for easy editing in your content workflow. So especially if you're already using Storyblock for content, I think it makes a lot of sense to use their great image service too. There's less context switching, you're sure to have first party support, and overall I just think it's a much better workflow than trying to fit together a bunch of different pieces. Because if you're using Storyblock's image service, asset library, image editor, and their visual editor, it's all in one place, which really helps in today's day and age of people trying to over-engineer all their sites. So now that we understand how Nux image and Storyblock's image service works, let's go ahead and start building. Since the Nux image for Nux 3 is still experimental, we can start by installing Nuxt Image Edge and then adding it as a module inside of our Nux config. We can also specify some options under the image property where we can set our default provider to Storyblock and then pass in our Storyblock base URL depending on the region of your site. Mine as US since it's in the US region. The Nux image module gives us two components that we can use inside of our app, Nux image and Nux picture, which are drop-in replacements for the native image and picture tags. Then let's say inside of the Storyblock asset library, I have one picture, which is just an iPhone picture of me celebrating pumpkin day. We can go in, copy the link and paste it into a Nux image component. If we wanted to, we could also to remove the base URL since it's already specified inside of our configuration. So if we go ahead and look at our app and open up the network tab, we can see that our raw image is pretty big. And this is because we're not doing any optimization to it yet. So let's run through some of the different options we have. So first, let's start off with setting a modern image format, in our case, WebP. Image compression with WebP typically results in a smaller file. And Storyblock offers automatic WebP support. Storyblock can serve us a WebP image regardless of the file type we uploaded. And with Nux image, we can get this as easily as adding format equals WebP. So now if we refresh, that our image URL changes a little bit and our file file size is smaller than it was before. But some of the real size benefits come when we start changing the size of the imagery request. The easiest way to do this in Nux image is to specify the width and or the height of the image. So if we pass in a width of 400, this will make its way to the story block image service, where we'll get the image scaled down to a width of 400. But let's say we want a responsive image. With Nux image, we can get this done with size, where we pass a space separated list of screen size and width paired. So let's say we want our small image, 100 pixels, our medium to be 300, and our large to be 800. We can see that as our screen gets bigger, we load in the higher quality image. This is really great for a mobile first design to load the exact image that you need depending on the screen. As you can also see, once we get to loading a lot of these smaller images, the size is significantly smaller than our original picture, especially for loading tons of images, it's really easy to see how these benefits can pay off. I won't cover all of the features, but with Storyblock, we also get tons of nice filtering that we can add to our image URL, such as filtering, grayscale, blurring, cropping, things like that. You may be wondering why wouldn't you want to do this in CSS, and a great reason is that these transformations will happen prior to it hitting the client, so someone were to right-click and download the image, they'll get the transform version rather than the raw image. But as you can see, there's tons of features in both Nux image and the Storyblock image service that I definitely recommend playing around with, but that's all 
covered this video and let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below.